planet 9 as soon as we hear this word pluto comes into our mind but as we know that pluto is not a planet anymore because in august 2006 the international astronomical union downgraded the status of pluto to that of a dwarf planet it was because pluto was not able to match the all three criteria for a full sized planet and if you want to know what were those all three criterias you can click on this video right here so pluto is not the ninth planet then what is this mystery behind the ninth planet that is again in front of us scientists and astronomers are claiming the presence of something big in our solar system in 20 january 2015 caltech researchers claimed the presence of a planet the caltech astronomers k batkin and mike brown announced new research that provided evidence of a giant planet tracing an unusual elongated orbit in the outer solar system the astronomers were studying the outer region of solar system and they discovered some objects influenced by the gravity of a larger object these scientists nicknamed their predicted object as planet 9 but the actual naming rights go to the person who actually discovers it but this name was used during previous hunts for the long suspected giant and undiscovered objects beyond neptune named planet x so in future iau will decide what they will name this planet planet 9 or planet X. Now let's take a overview of this planet based on the data from the research of the gravitational pull. This hypothetical planet could be of the size of Neptune or Uranus and it orbits our sun in a highly elongated orbit which is far from Pluto. It may take between 10,000 to 20,000 years to make a full orbit around the sun. The predicted orbit is about 20 times larger than Neptune. The astronomers are using the world's most powerful telescopes to find an object in the predicted orbit. Now a question arises, why it is so hard to find this planet? The answer is that a planet of this size so far away from Earth would be very very faint and really hard to detect and the orbit of this planet is very very large so the area in which we are finding this planet is very very large compared to the size of the planet and we are really far away from it and that is why it is really hard to detect this planet and if we discover this planet we would be able to give a stable tag for pluto that whether it is a planet a moon of neptune or a moon of planet 9 or a completely dwarf planet so let's hope for the best and wait until we get the final result and thanks for watching this video if you have enjoyed subscribe this channel and as always love physics